Deacon Sakari. We back at it like a crack at it. Gotta let them bruise in the dome. In this wicked industry. To shine a light. Uh, they done let them bruise in the dough. Oh, uh, shit. They done let them bruise in the dough. They done let them bruise in the dough. Uh, uh, they done let them bruise in the dough. We ain't going nowhere. He bruise. He bruise. He bruise. He bruise. He bruise. They done let them bruise in the dough. They done let them bruise in the dough. Look. Joe Biden need to free Dark Low. The hell is wrong with you? No Alamolek, but I got perfect vision in the dark. I'm a lexicon, I'm a megalodon, all my verses ripping them apart. Mosaic law with the church is missing, it's the worst religion from the start. start. In my soul where the word is written, out of circumcision, not a heart. Yeah. I'm rocking my fringes, I'm in Seattle, rocking like Hendrix. No industry gimmicks, you rap as a finish, I'm kicking the door off the hinges. Throwing stones like you sinless till you get the finish. You should have repented and minute this proof is endless. They loving the image, I know what happened to Kim, what happened to Kim. I keep my pencil on point, no sharpener. Used to weigh pounds of troll, I lay down the flow like carpenters. She causing division in the sisterhood, I'm I'm preparing to wait for the harvester. I'm a harbinger. Cops hop out, we bail on them. Leviticus, I like my fish with scales on them. Ask Chief Ephraim, he could vouch. We be putting in the work while you sitting on the couch. Camp haters quiet as a mouse. Y'all already shout out to my brother, Awesome Trout. Just as a reminder, if there's doubt, I wear every single fringe, even when I'm in the house. Get all your truth music at DeaconSakari.com. That's nine albums. We even got a couple free for y'all. Support the cause, y'all. I see a lot of hate. I, see a lot of hate. I knew it would come with it. Rap game full of evil and sin. And I don't want none of it. They bite my style. They, bite they just want to take it and run with it. Sakari Varsity Online Academy specializing in Hebrew apologetics. Come learn how to defend the gospel. Email Sakari Seattle at gmail.com. Limited registration. Well, you want to hit with the list. The list. You call me the deacon. Call me the but just put the strong right in front of it. You are the sin. Sufficient men. I know the most high is my ruler. My neighborhood full of drug deals, blood spills from fire and rubies. These niggas getting crazy. I seen them do a drop by in the loop. I tell them come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of Lion of Judah. Lion of some people think. We finally back on. Finally back on children's bibles with black and brown images i know a lot of y'all been waiting you better a lot of people on back order we still got some though put your order in before it's too late i'm gonna start having them regularly lord willing but get it in let's go hit me up dm even your head wraps stay dip stay brew dripping all right deacon sakari.com all right y'all go to czyn.network czyn.network we done with patreon no more patreon czyn.network you're gonna get videos too hot for youtube or early releases so go sign up promo code deacon sakari promo code deacon sakari promo code deacon sakari not only do you get deacon sakari's content you get guerrilla hebrew content hasad content other camps putting their content on this platform we need our own app so sign up using promo code deacon sakari czyn dot network it's our own app our own platform the white man can no longer subvert or hide or try to censor this truth so sign up and get this heat promo code deacon sakari promo code deacon sakari promo code deacon sakari czyn introducing super thanks youtube has now added a feature where you can donate if you miss the live show by just clicking the heart button with the thanks on it it'll be on every video it'll highlight your comment to bring more attention to your statement so if it's on your heart super thanks shalom Popping mollies and putting powder in your nostrils. We be in the trenches, needles under benches. We be giving them the gospel. I'm the Aki. Twelve Sakari members with me. We be moving like apostles. True. Some sisters is dead traps, hair wraps, but you feel a thought. No feel a whole church don't even know the truth. They can even tell you you an Israelite. And the Arab selling you all the switches and the malt liquor or the Ishmaelite. Ishmaelite. You're showing niggas slave ships in the Bible still won't get it right. Until the time's out, then the niggas gotta find out what them missiles like.
All right, y'all. First and foremost, first and foremost, let's start this off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh, and we do so by Hashem Mashiach Yahweh Shai. All blessings, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. All praises. How's everybody doing? Let's get this thing started. I, before we start, before we get this going, I need y'all to hit the like button. Also, I want to I want to show something real quick. I want to show something real quick, right? I want to show how we, excuse me, how we dismantle these doctors, how we dismantle these doctors with these PhDs by Hashem Yahweh Shia. Um, so let me, let me share the screen before we get this started here. This is an individual by the name of <clears throat> well this is a church called legacy ministry college um is this a college i know there is it may be a church as well but uh the president the executive team you'll see the president uh dr joe wirosek right um I think he got his doctorate from Regent University, Apostolic Elder or Metro Praise International. Okay, yeah, this is his church, and I'm not sure what this is exactly, but this is Dr. Joe Wirostek. Oh, I don't want to contact him. I don't want to contact him. Let me do my thing like this. Like this, okay. And um, what you guys are about to hear is a debate that took place on another channel. Remember I told you guys and sometimes you got to give them home court advantage. They're so scared to come on our platforms. So you got to give them home court advantage, right? And uh, so I had to go over to their platform and have this discussion. A uh, pride of Judah, the water king, now since then, there was a, a republication but that YouTube channel was taken down. There was a republication, but that YouTube channel was taken down. So we need these debates. We need these debates. We need these discussions to be uh, in the metaverse. This needs to be our fingerprint in the world, in the ministry to show our works. You have to, right? So without further ado, uh, I'll play it. <laughs> yeah, I went for the president. I didn't go for the vice president. I didn't go for the reverend. We went right for the the, the, the president, Dr. Joe Wirostek. And um, so without further ado, I'm gonna play the footage and I'm gonna be popping in and out, Lord's will. And I want you guys to take keen notes. Take keen notes on this. All right. These are the angles that these PhD doctors are going to come from. Um, and it sounds good, just like Dr. Brown sounded good until it was time for Alizar to rebut all of his information. That's just how it goes during these debates and discussions. So let's play this. Um. 
question tonight was now for those of you who are not familiar this is nick before him before he got strung out on heroin vocab malone's christian homeboy nick and then dr joe wyrostek for those of you who don't know he was on the debate team with sam shimon for those of you who don't know dr joe wyrostek is on the debate team with sam shimon if you don't know who sam shimon is look him up he he's he's up there in the top tier christian apologetics right so let's play this i might have a little fault in that because i wasn't clear with him what the uh subject was so okay. i'm sorry Lucky. But, but but to, but to, but to be fair sir you want me to debate and talk foolishness and i won't do that with you what i am saying is they have incorrect doctrine sometimes and they have correct doctrine sometimes but we are still the people scattered that's all i'm trying to let you and everybody understand so you're trying to word play because i'm not admitting that well let does maybe lefty could show us some proof of that that's all like it's one thing to just make claims that say all of scholars will tell you that jews are black and all of this person says that but like i just you know what i mean yeah i know but see the reason why i don't want to go down to scholar okay so somebody sent me the link to join this channel and my phone was on 25 percent. i had to plug it up i was in a car at a tire shop no practice no preparation and this doctor got the business the most high destroyed him through his holy vessel the deacon the route and i have all these books here is mm -hmm. because the moment i show them a scholar that disagrees with them the moment i show them a bible encyclopedia that disagrees with them because let's be honest they know most Bible encyclopedias agree with what we're saying. Then they would say these guys are corrupt, and it just goes down some endless. Yeah, I hear you. Anyway, it's we both protect the scriptures. Shouldn't yeah. it be enough of it there? You this know, is, this is uh, the gentleman in the chat. Um, this is the deacon. Why don't you let us introduce yourself for a couple minutes, there, sir, and um, we'll get to that scripture that we were talking about. And I believe you muted yourself there, the deacon. All right, mic check, mic check. We good? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so basically, um, basically, you asked the question. You said, um, "Where does the in Deuteronomy twenty eight does it say that the Jews will lose their identity and nationality?" So let me ask you a question: What are Jews called today? Oh my goodness, man! I am so sorry. I just maybe tonight I'm just in a different mood or something. But I really just want to stay on the subject, Deacon. Can you please just go through the scriptures that I gave and yeah, either try a different no, no. interpretation or just admit that there's you a way that you have better to look at it? Honestly, I'm just Mr. Being, Joe, please, Mr. Joe, please, you asked this please just respect the time I'm spending. Now you're gonna, now you're gonna, Joe. Don't ask the question and then run. Don't throw rocks and then hide your hands. Deacon, I'm not running. Say, I'm not running let from you. I actually let want to uh, do what let we can speak, do. The Bible says do everything in decency okay. and in order. Right. Nick and, and I had a talking. to discuss the situation of these texts, not okay. not to go off Joe, on the Joe, Joe, Joe I listen, the Joe. I gave you my Eat Joe. Eat a my Joe. I'm not talking, but my Joe. Eat a my Joe. Eat a my Joe. I asked you a question. I asked you a question, and because you look at me as a black piece of shit, you won't even answer my question. Deacon, no. we don't look at anyone like that. Well, why can't just... <laughs> Out the gate. Now, listen, Nick said he don't look at me as a black piece of shit, but y'all remember where we got all the proof of the Christian apologist, Nick, who Brian and Sister Cherry and all them guys said was a brother in christ calling us niggers saying all black people do is spread aids and sell crack so stop lying nick give me the dignity why can't he give Bro. me the decency to answer my oh, question okay what was your question i'm sorry he your question said, is nick, show don't him call him nick, not here. Nick. Show, nick joe 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 let's hold him to the text joe, he doesn't want to do joe, the text we'll talk you have to shut your goddamn mouth for a minute aren't, joe. aren't we talking about the text or not just okay. the text deuteronomy 28 what honestly deuteronomy 28 De deuteronomy, deuteronomy 28, 28. Okay. we'll go to deuteronomy 28 in just a moment i asked for tonight revelation everybody when i was discussing deuteronomy 28 last night kept talking about revelation okay so deuteronomy today, revelation today you, mentioned, bring it up. 
today you mentioned Deuteronomy 28. Now you, The reason now why I mentioned it speaking is because when I talked about it last night, they went to Revelation. That's the only reason why I mentioned it. Okay, well, I, Revelation I, I, I didn't watch right? this. I didn't watch the show last night. I okay. just got on right now. I heard you mention Deuteronomy 28. So the can we Bible go says, to that after Revelation, sir? Can we go okay. to that after? The okay, that's cool. Let's okay. everyone okay. just okay. calm good. down good. and we'll go to Revelation. Okay, Deacon, let's try and do this friendly and All professional. Right. I'll go to Revelation 2 and 9. Okay. It says that I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews is being a Jew a religion or ethnicity. I think he's asking you, Joe. A question, uh, Joe. Uh, ooh, ooh. Look at this little, look at this, look at this kid from the south part of the town confounding the doctor in the spirit and power of the most high God. <laughs> Bro, I would just want to hear you talk at this point. See that? See that? See that? Can you just talk and this just... has to be okay. Let me let me just yeah, talk there. Let, let me just school you since you don't even look at me with enough respect to answer my question because you're the devil that the Bible speaks of. The okay. word Jew, uh, Nick, shut Nick, your mouth, Joe. Joe. This Joe. From Nick, uh, you just go and shut Nick, his Nick, mouth. I'm not going to endure this from him. I think from now on. When I talk to doctors and PhDs, I'm gonna throw them around like this. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause you guys are you guys barely want to talk to us anyway. So when we get a hold of your goddamn necks, we're just gonna crush you guys. You don't look at us with any respect, especially Dr. Brown, a street thug and black people are lazy and unproductive. It doesn't make them Israelites. We're just gonna destroy you guys. Joe, yeah. shut his mouth. Yeah, Joe. No, Deacon. Can you? Can we just all be respectful? Okay. Revelation I'm chapter two. You. I'm not going to endure that from this. Revelation yeah. chapter two, verse nine says. Let's hear the I verse. Let's just the be Israel. respectful. Okay, okay. please I be respectful. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. The word Jew is derivative of the word Judah. It's not a religion. It's an ethnicity. You have to be from the tribe of Judah to be a Jew. So when it says, I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are not, that means some people are calling themselves an ethnicity that is not theirs. And guess what? Because if you're a Jew, you can't just stop being a Jew. That means if, you, if you're from the tribe of Judah, do you just stop being from the tribe of Judah? You just lose your ethnicity? Then what is it? Of course not. That means some, a group of people will be stealing our identity and nationality. Acts chapter 13, verse 1 says the real Jews were called niggers. You ain't seen no Ashkenazi Jew, which I heard you speak of earlier being called no nigger. Then you talk about the Ashkenazi Jew. How are they Jews if Ashkenazi goes back to Japheth and the Jews, the Israelites, go back to Shem? Now, now let me stop that. That was a debate tactic. And it's called calling somebody's bluff. I know why they call them Ashkenazi. Ashkenazi. But uh, I wanted to see if he knows. So we'll see. I, I forgot what was said throughout all of this, but let's continue. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 28, Proverbs and Bywords. That would mean they would stop being called by their ethnicity and be called Proverbs and Bywords. That's part of the curses. Show me where them white Jews today are called Proverbs and Bywords. Secondly, Hosea chapter 1, verse 10 to 11 says, in the place where it was says they are not my people, they will be called the children of the living God. When was it ever said that those Jew, those white Jews were not the children of the Most High? Jeremiah 17 and 4 says they will lose their heritage. Their heritage is the land, the language, the customs. He said that he don't set the apocrypha for scripture because he believes in that Martin, Martin Luther who said Christ committed adultery. He's the only one who tried to come against the Apocrypha in the 15th century when it's in the Codex Sinaiticus. It's in the Greek Septuagint. It's in the Textus Receptus. It's in the Catholic Bible. It's in all the other canons. But he act like since it's been in the Bible for 1,500 years when a white man named Martin Luther, who also hated Jews like Joe does and said the Jews were nothing but good for having whips cracked on their back. In the Apocrypha, in the Book of Maccabees, which let's say it's not scripture. It's a historical source. You have to agree to that. On any scholar will tell you that Maccabees, a historical source, says that what? It was unlawful to call yourself a Jew. Therefore, you had to call yourself by the name of something else, i.e. the Greek during the Hellenist, Hellenistic period. So, yes, even back during the time of the Maccabees, we lost our identity and nationality. Now you can talk, boy. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, sometimes guys, it's not you. It's never you. It's on, it's on, it's always God, God's spirit speaking through you. I don't even remember saying all of this shit. Okay. We got three and a, we got three minutes each. You don't need to, to call me boy. I'm gonna respect you. I, I'm glad we're at the text now. Let's go back to Revelation. You're saying that because this refers to Judah, that's a tribe. It can't refer to all the people groups. That's incorrect. This word is used of all the people of Israel in the New Testament. So that's a red herring chasing that word Judah. Just take it for meaning the people of Israel. It's that simple. Now, it doesn't say anybody stole your, your, your identity. Number one, I don't even know who you are. Number one. Number two, I showed you through the scriptures, if you were paying attention, that Jesus quite often took the spiritual identity and uh, took it away from people's ethnic identity. I chose you, Judas, but you're a devil. Judas did not stop being a ethnic son of Abraham, but spiritually he was a devil. That's how Jesus deals with his own people. Those people in Revelation are Jews. They are like the ones in John chapter 8 who say, I know my ancestry comes from Abraham, but Jesus says, but you don't act like Abraham. They say, I know I worship the God of the Bible, but Jesus says, you don't act like the father, the God of the Bible. You act like your father, the devil. These are still ethnic Jews. You have proved nothing. You have not proved who you are. You have not proven that according to the Bible, anyone ever stole the Jews identity or the Israelites identity. And you certainly didn't do it from revelation. Those are Jews like Paul who were Saul persecuting the Christians. And one day they gonna get turned around and worship the same God that the Christians are worshiping. That's why it's coming before their feet. It's not even saying that all of them gonna be lost. Some of them gonna get saved and Acts records it. So let's go. Welcome to our world, baby. Go to the scriptures. Okay, I'm glad he said that. Well, that, was only, that. that was only two minutes, but if you're okay. done, Joe. Listen, he relieves his time. He relieves his okay. time. Because okay, time I'll start your time. I'll start your time now, Deacon. Yeah, he relieves his time because the Bible says the devil coming down and knoweth he have but a short time. So that's why he relinquished his time shortly. Now. <laughs> I don't even remember that. But look at Nick's face. Look at Nick's face. Nick loves how I'm cooking this, this doctor. Look, look at Joe. Look at Joe smiling. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, the Holy Spirit will use you. Don't worry about what you're going to say when you battle these doctorates and these PhDs. The Bible says he will give you a mouth to speak great things. You understand? He, he gonna tell you what to say in that very hour. But why is my um connection? One second, y'all. Let me try to fix this. Hit that like button. If you guys want to continue this roaster rotisserie, hit that like button. One second. Hmm. Um, let me, let me try something here. Let me try something here. Uh, why is this doing this to me, y'all? I may have to do it another way, y'all, because we got to get some clarity. We have to get some clarity. <clears throat> We have to get some clarity. <laughs> oh no, Joe, Joe know I got him. Joe know I got him. All right. I'm gonna be looking in the chat, y'all. If it um if the if it goes blurry again, um let me know in the chat, Bubba Kusha. And um I'll 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 broadcast it another way. All right, let's go. Now he said that in the New Testament, a Jew was all tribes. Let's show you how Joe is a liar. John chapter 1, verse 8. Hey, first, Joe, let me ask you a question. Israelites have 12 tribes. Are the Levites a part of the 12 tribes? Are they one of the 12? 
I said, I want to hear your points. I don't want to play this game with you. Make okay, your you see that? He's such a coward. Now, John chapter 1, verse I mean, 19. You got to call names. You're losing the debate that bad. Make your point. No, everybody. <laughs> it's so funny how, uh, how every time I disrespect him because he was very disrespectful. And you know what's crazy? Even everybody came on the comment board and was like, bro, you guys weren't letting the deacon talk. So he was being very disrespectful to me. But it's funny that every time I give it back to him, Nick laughs about it. Let me let me rewind that real quick. In the New Testament, a Jew was all tribes. Let's show you how Joe. or the Israelites' identity, and you certainly didn't do it from Revelation. Those are Jews like Paul who were Saul persecuting the Christians, and one day they're going to get turned around and worship the same God that the Christians are worshiping. That's why it's coming before their feet. It's not even saying that all of them are going to be lost. Some of them are going to get saved, and Acts records it. So let's go. Welcome to our world, baby. Go to the scriptures. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm glad he said that. Well, that was Joe only that. that was only two minutes, but if are you done, okay. Joe? Listen, he relieves his time. He relieves his okay. time. Because okay, his time I'll start hurt. your time. I'll start your time now, Deacon. Yeah, he relieves his time because the Bible says the devil cometh down and knoweth he have but a short time. So that's why he relinquished his time shortly. Now, he said that in the New Testament, a Jew was all tribes. Let's show you how Joe is a liar. John chapter 1, verse 8. Hey, first, Joe, let me ask you a question. Israelites have 12 tribes. Are the Levites a part of the 12 tribes? Are they one of the 12? I said, I want to hear your points. I don't want to play this game with you. Make okay, your you see that? He's such a coward. Now, John chapter 1, verse I mean, 19. You got to call names. you losing the debate that bad. Make your point. No, everybody can see. You're running from the, the Bible says, be ready to answer every question. Now, okay, listen to give me, me back my minute then. Give me back okay, my minute. Let, let me ask you a question. Listen, listen. listen. Revelation John chapter one, one you understand. Ask, you Look at the word. Time. You the 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 use Joe, of the people of Joe. Israel. See, I'll put you on blast. Don't act like I'm a coward. Make do you remember, point. do you remember what you posted at the beginning of the, of the show, Joe? Absolutely. What did it, what did it say? It said, uh, Something about, what did it say again? Yeah, when you're rude, your name calling, you've lost the debate. Just make your point, sir. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Let's Let try, try not to be Let's rude, go. okay? Nick, I got it, Nick. Don't worry about it. Okay, try not to be rude. John, okay, please. John chapter 1, verse 19. He's of his father, the devil, because he lied to everybody watching and said that in the New Testament, the word Jew means all tribes. And he, and he clarified that Jew goes back to Judah, means Judah. So this is John chapter 1, verse 19. It says, and this is is the record of John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who art thou? Clearly a separation between Jews being Judah and Levites being Levites. Levites were not. There's a clear distinction in John chapter 1, verse 19. He lied in front of everybody. Then he tried to go and say, oh, the spirit of your father, the devil. He gave him a spiritual ethnicity. The devil is not an ethnicity. You are rudimentary and at best first grade level in this Bible and you're small in the scriptures. So I challenge him to show me Deuteronomy 28 and 46 says that the curses will be on the Israelites forever. I challenge Joe to show everybody watching how the curses of Deuteronomy 28 fits the people who call themselves Jews today more so than who we are saying the Jews, which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Show us and prove to us statistically that these curses in Deuteronomy that will be on the Israelites forever apply to the people who you say are the Israelites. All right. Thank you for showing us you don't know what you're talking about. I'll simply go to now the Greek, the thing that I know makes you afraid when we actually come now to how the word is used in the New Testament, this is exactly where you get blowed up. This is now where you're going to change what you said. I went to Revelation right here. You click on the word. I got it in my logo software. Everyone can do this. Y'all look at it. Let uh, Please put up the screen, my brother. Look, look at it. Look at how the word Jew is used all throughout the New Testament. It only, it's been up. Does it only refer to the tribe of Judah? Look at it. 
Look at it. The Jews marveled. The Jews did this. He is king of the Jews. Are they saying he's only the king of Judah? Man, you are smoked by the word. What is this, man? This smoke screen you're trying to pull right now, man. I'll go through every reference right now just so that you can look foolish for saying what you said, that somehow Jew only means Judah. What foolishness are you talking about? This is how the word is used. Wake up to the scriptures. As a matter of fact, it's continually used in contrast to the Gentiles, Jew and Gentile, Jew and Gentile. Look at here in room. I am an apostle to the Jews. I became, uh, I mean, rather I go unto the Jews, Peter unto the, uh, I go unto the Greeks. Uh, 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 I go to the Greeks, Paul, uh, Peter goes to the Jews. Lord help me. He says, unto the Jews, I became a Jew. Unto the Judah tribe, I became a Judah tribe. Man, what are you talking about? Look at how often it is used simply, simply as a description of God's people. Get out of here, man. Get out of here with your fake scholarship. Number two, when you look at the scripture that I'm going on, I'll get you in Deuteronomy 28, get rocked, because all you want to do is go look for your daddy, look for your, your, your identity, and instead of just letting Christ be it, you want to go see who beat you, who whooped you, who sold you, who did all that. I can give you all kinds of people groups that have been through that, but that don't mean it's you. You didn't go on no ship to literal Egypt where nobody buy you, and don't try to say it was redeemed because your King James puts a whooping on you and it says nobody bought you. So keep it real when you're going to use a translation. But in that text, it's not saying what you think it says. It never says you lose your identity. And it never says that somebody on the corner got to get back your identity. That's all you're about. It's the bait that the Muslim use. It's the bait that the comedics use. It's the bait that you got bamboozled with to become now a, a Hebrew Israelite, so-called. Come back to the scriptures and see that Revelation says that these Jews are of the devil. You did not understand me, sir. I said, these Jews, like in John 8, are of the devil. Revelation 2, 9, Revelation 3, 9 says, these folks of the devil, and they lie saying they of me, just like the ones in John 8 lie. Thank you, Joe. They of Jesus. That was three minutes. Thank you very much. And as soon Come as on, you start. I got what you need. Come and get it. As soon as you start talking, Deacon, sir, I'll start your time. Okay, we're so tired of the Baptist preaching. You guys see how he doesn't address any of my points, but I address his. So he says that Jew means all tribes in the New Testament. I showed the distinction in John 1 and 19 between a Jew and a Levite. Yes, it colloquially became as the Southern Kingdom, but in its primary definition and context of the word, it's of the tribe of Judah. Now, I'm going to read something because he mentioned Deuteronomy 28. You see, he didn't deal with the curses that will be on the Israelites forever. You guys see how the, the scriptures say serpents, vipers, and foxes, right? So now it was said they would try to deceive the very elect because they're Edomites, the devil, right? So look, he mentioned Deuteronomy 28 and 68 where it says no man will buy you, not knowing that the Hebrew means redeemed. OK, this is the same word for by you in Exodus 15 and 16. Show you it's not dealing with money. It's dealing with to be redeemed. Exodus 15, 16. Fear and dread shall fall upon them by the greatness of thine army arm. They shall be as still as a stone till thy people pass over over. O Lord, till the people pass over which thou hast purchased. That's the same word Quine, in Deuteronomy 28. And 68, that is in Exodus 15 and 16. It's not dealing with money, it's dealing with redemption. He doesn't know the Bible. Then he mentions, um, um, uh, it's not about, first he says, oh, you're looking to find your daddy. Well, did you know that the curses of Deuteronomy would be single parent homes? He didn't know that. It says that they will leave their seed. Well, who's cursed? Who, who was cursed like that the most? Certainly not them fake white Jews that are in Israel today. And he said, it's, oh, Jesus tried to show you a different nationality. Well, why did Jesus say that he only came to the Israelites in Matthew 15 and 24? Was he lying, Joe, when he said, I only come to the lost sheep of the house of Israel? Was he lying? And then he called that woman a dog, just like, just like your wife is a dog. He called, he called every Gentile a dog. That's just what Jesus Christ said. Now, I challenge him to break down Luke chapter 21, verse 24, where it says that the 
the land of Israel will be occupied by Gentiles until Christ comes back. I guarantee you, crowd, that he won't, he will not address how the curses will be on the Israelites forever. Single parent, every curse in the Bible will be, in Deuteronomy 28, will be on the Israelites forever. He will not address how Jesus said he only came to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and Gentiles like him are dogs, right? Him and his wife. And he will not address the fact that Luke 21 and 24 says that Israel will be occupied by Gentiles until Christ comes back. The floor is yours, Glass Joe. Man, I really pity you, my friend. I do. And I'll take it down with you. I respect you. I'm glad that we're going straight to the scriptures now. But I really want to let you know, I pity that scholarship. When you go to Deuteronomy 28, 68, and you look at the word by, I have it right here. Please put up my screen brother, so he can see it. You don't get to pick and choose how you want to use this word. This word here, buy, is in the terms of buying slaves. When it has to do with redeem, it has to do it in Nehemiah because the context calls for it being redeemed like a kinsman redeemer. We, let me just put it up here for you. It says, uh, here, we uh, Nehemiah 5, 8, and said to them, we, as far as we are able, have bought back our Jewish brothers who have been sold to the nations. Notice here in the context, if it's as bad as you say it is, and of course I believe it is as bad as Moses says it is, it's obvious there's no kinsman and redeemer. That's why your King James translator put the word buyer. There's no one to buy you. And that's why last night when I went over this, I went to the Targum of Jonathan. This is at the same period of Jesus that that deals with how this was interpreted by the people of that time. Let me read it from you from the Targum of Jonathan. So you think you're smarter than these folks. It says, and the word of the Lord will bring you captive to Mizraim in shifts, literal shifts through the sea of Sopheth. And by the way, you passed over, which I said, you shall not no more see. You didn't go to Egypt, you came to America. And I'm sorry for that, my friend, but this ain't your story. So stop hijacking it. There you'll be sold to your enemies. This is the Targum. At the beginning for a dear price as artificers, afterward at a cheap price as servants and handmaids, until you be worthless, be consigned to unpriced labor, there'll be no one to take you. And I've already busted out the history from the greatest uh, historian of that time, a German man talking about Africana, how there were so many slaves, the Romans didn't know what to do with them, they sent them back to ship. I, 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 wanna, I, wanna, I wanna do something real quick. I want you guys to hear what he said. He tried to say that this German historian, Munter, lived during the time of Jesus. See, these Christians will lie so much. From in shifts, literal shifts through the Sea of Sopheth. And by the way, you passed over, which I said, you shall not no more see. You didn't go to Egypt. You came to America. And I'm sorry for that, my friend. But this ain't your story. So stop hijacking it. There you'll be sold to your enemies. This is the Targum. At the beginning for a dear price as artificers, afterward at a cheap price as servants and handmaids, until you be worthless, be consigned to unpriced labor, there'll be no one to take you. And I've already busted out the history from the greatest uh, historian of that time, a German man talking about Africana, how there was. So let's just examine his source. He said Munter was from the time of Jesus. Let me let me show you guys. How, and again, during the time of this debate, I'm in the car at a tire shop, right? But I want to show you guys how these Christians will lie so much, right? The German historian Munter. Let's see if he goes back to the time of Jesus. Oh, he doesn't. He goes back to 1830. Goddamn liar. And that's why I call him the devil. So Munter is not a primary source. Slave, the Romans didn't know what to do with them. They sent them back to ships in Egypt. They exiled them. I've already talked about Josephus. So, man, don't, don't act like I'm running from anything. And then you're talking about the lost sheep of Israel. Amen. I'm a hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. He talked about Josephus. So, hold on. 
from and shifts, literal shifts through the sea of Sopheth. Because I want all you Hebrew Israelites to make sure, I know you guys are good with the Bible. I know you guys don't need the deacon to teach you, but I want to make sure the new brothers and sisters know where to go when they try to say Deuteronomy 28 and 68 was fulfilled and they go to Josephus. Because remember, they say that no man shall buy you, right? But Josephus says they were sold. So how are you going to use Josephus if your, liter your literal interpretation is that they wouldn't be sold? And by the way, you pass over, which I said, you shall not no more see. You didn't go to Egypt. You came to America. And I'm sorry for that, my friend. But this ain't your story. So stop hijacking it. There you'll be sold to your enemies. This is the Targum. At the beginning for a dear price as artificers, afterward at a cheap price as servants and handmaids, until you be worthless, be consigned to unpriced labor, there will be no one to take you. And I've already busted out the history from the greatest uh, historian of that time, a German man talking about Africana, how there were so many slaves, the Romans didn't know what to do with them. They sent them back to the ships in Egypt. They exiled them. I've already talked about Josephus. Did you guys see that? You see how he, uh, wow. You see how he skipped past that? Look at that. Munter said they were sent to Egypt, but they shipwrecked and died of hunger. That's not a fulfillment of prophecy. I would never use Munter. If they try that, that's over with. And then he goes to Josephus because there were soldiers and the troops. Read the Josephus. He's supposed to read it. Of the rest, or 17 put in chains and sent to do hard labor in Egypt. They were sold in bondage. Joseph is saying they were sold into bondage. So how in the hell, if your interpretation is Deuteronomy 28 and 68, that they wouldn't be sold, how is that a fulfillment? So man, don't, don't act like I'm running from anything. And then you're talking about the lost sheep of Israel, amen. I'm a dog, my wife's a dog without Christ, and you is one too, baby, you is one. And all of us except those who came from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So would you love this doctrine if you were in the same place I am? Would you love it? Because I think a lot of y'all just love it because it makes you get back now at old Whitey. But let me just tell you, son, I think you just as pagan as my ancestors are. I don't think you come from them. So when you want to point out okay, why, hey, okay, before, that's why I have this, I have that. A lot of people been that's through that bro. too, son, but you didn't take a literal ship to Egypt where they didn't buy you. That's what happened. Okay, to hey, you know, it's okay, the Israel okay, 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 okay. So uh, as you can see, he didn't deal with the scripture that I brought up where that word is used plenty of times, not dealing with money. Uh, secondly, he didn't bring up how the curses, I told you guys he wasn't going to do it. He didn't bring up how the curses will be on the Israelites forever and they don't fit those white Jews. And he did not bring, deal with Luke chapter 21, 24 that says the land of Israel will be occupied until Christ comes back. Therefore, he has forfeited the debate. So now I'm going to ask him to show me how he can get salvation if he's an Edomite, which the Bible says that Esau is the end of the world, right? the, the Caucasian race that, be, that will be ruling the world. How can he get salvation being an Edomite if the Bible prophesies that all the Edomites will be destroyed, Obadiah 1 and 18? And I would also like him to exegete Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 1 to 7, and I'll yield the floor. Okay, first of all, I'm trying to deal with these scripture as it comes up. I'm not avoiding anything. Going to the scripture that you brought up in Deuteronomy 28, I did deal with that, sir. I said you are just picking and choosing what applies. No, no, no. You didn't deal with how the curse. I did deal with like it. Let me, let me just talk. Let me just talk. You may not like my answer to it, but I did deal with it. Brother, put up the screen for him so he can see. I will show you that there are things that apply to you and there are things that don't apply to you. Okay. Number one, you didn't go on a ship to literal Egypt and you were there uh, not bought. We can argue over that word, but I already dealt with it. If that don't deal with you, then none of this deals with you because according to you, this is how you got into all of that mess. The next thing right here, people worshiping gods of wood and stone, man, all kinds of people do that. That doesn't mean that's of you, but here I'll show you something that I know is not of you. They might have been taking your children and doing all of those things, but where's the one here about wealth? I wanna get to it. Right now, the black people are the 10th richest people on the, on the planet. 
So whatever this was is not you today. If you even had something to do with it, here it says they will devour your crops, your livestock, all of these things, and you won't have nothing. Lay hold of, of, of that. Man, you did that to yourself, your own people blowing it up and tearing it down right now, but you have enough wealth to be the 10th largest uh, economy in the world. So you ain't this anymore. Okay. Now to go to the thing that you're talking about with the Gentiles occupying uh, Jerusalem until the end, I believe that was until they returned in 48 and started a whole countdown of the fig tree. That's my eschatology, my man. If I'm missing anything, let's go through it and I'll take my time with you. I'm enjoying this actually. Okay, good. So he talked about st statistically dealing with the curses. It's the Israelites being oppressed. He's going to nitpick at, oh, it says literal, but the Bible says that he would never take us back to Egypt. What does it mean, Joe, when it says the place wherein I spake of, you shall see it no more again? So it couldn't be talking about ancient Egypt. It would have to be talking about bondage because that's what the, the word Egypt means. Mizraim in between a hard place, like a rock in a hard spot. Exodus says the house of bondage. So it's talking about going into another captivity. Ezekiel chapter four, I guarantee you, he skipped past Deuteronomy 31 to seven. And then he tried to say Luke 21 and 24 was saying until they occupied it in 1948. I would love for him to show me where 1948 is in the prophecies of the Bible. Surely something that big would have to be a part of biblical prophecy. I would love to see it and he will get busted on it. Now, I would love to him, for him to show me where those white Jews would, would, would serve a 430 year captivity the northern kingdom and southern kingdom together as the prophecy states in jeremiah and ezekiel chapter 4 specifically verse 4 to 6 he can't do it all of the pro not only does the curses fit to us not only not only does the descriptions fit to us but the prophecies also fit the israel uh, who we say are the israelites as well thank thanks see? deacon that was three minutes thank you very much you see Okay, so let yeah, me just, please drop the language that I'm not addressing stuff, man. First of all, I'll ask you some questions here in a minute, but I don't mind you uh, taking charge of the conversation because that's what we came here for was to answer these questions or objections, okay? But please stop saying like I'm running. I'm not running for anything. Put the screen up for us, please, my brother. This is for those who don't understand what I just said. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore, in hunger and thirst. You hungry, brother? You hungry, man? You thirsty? You naked? Okay, so you asked me a question. Let me finish, man. Let me, me finish. Let me finish. You didn't die your poverty now. See, all this only applies then, when, here, there, now, not here, not now. Come on. You take what you want. You try to find where it fits. That's not you. That's not where you're at. You're supposed to be in this till you come to Israel, right? You're supposed to be oppressed. Man, this was fulfilled when they were eating their own children during the Babylonian captivity. I can show you probably when you look at scholarship, two to three times that they went through this, okay? So let's not pretend that there aren't answers to this. I have the entire scholarship on my side where the Jewish people have tracked out how many times they have been in poverty, thirsty, naked, sold off as slaves. And once again, if you just want to take Egypt and make it miserable, Misery, then called Germany misery, called the Dark Ages misery. Do you ever hear of the Inquisitions, dude? I mean, come on. So just, just get off of this trying to help you. This Deuteronomy 28, don't help you. I know you have been through your troubles and it looks a lot like what maybe your ancestors went through, but this is not you. This is not today. Now, going to the prophecy of Israel coming back to the land, man, I take everything that you would take. Go to, you know, Isaiah chapter 40, go all the way through 66. I didn't say it's complete. I believe in a certain eschatology like a fig tree. As you start to see it bud, then you know the end is near. I believe it was a miracle that they came back to their land, that they had the, the war and then took over Jerusalem. And now it's coming back. Eventually, they'll have a treaty with the, what I believe is an antichrist. I mean, I can go into prophecy and prophecy, but you have proved nothing. Okay, it's been show, three minutes. Show me, show me, show me where you it's can, only been actually yeah, two minutes and 20 right. seconds, but uh, I'll stop the time now. It's been 2.15. Okay. Yeah, so okay. you, Hold on. I didn't even get so, three minutes. And he told okay. me three minutes. Yeah, you still have 45 seconds. Yeah, so. man. I, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Deacon, but, man, this is my... Oh, my, my we've been, we been hearing that spill for 2,000 years. Man, well, then, we're, well, then, we're then we're hear it again. Today. Hear it again until you get it. Nowhere in the scriptures does it say a people like the Israelites will lose their identity. Show me that, don't go show me. Well, somebody got beat and I got beat. Somebody got sold, I got sold. Show me where it says 
Israelites will lose identity. And then where someone has to come find it for them. Hey, man, let me find it for you all. Oh, look, look, did you know about, with you know about this? No, come on. That's how they do it. That's okay. how. Okay, that's okay. being 45 seconds. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, cool. Now, I want to say this real quick. As you guys can see how slithery the, the snake is, when I first got on here, I quoted three to four scriptures showing we were called by words. That means we will lose our identity. Showing in the time of the Maccabees, it was illegal for us to call ourselves Israelites. We lost our identity. Showing that Jeremiah 17 and 4 says we will lose our identity. And showing that Hosea 1 and 1, 10 and 11 says we will lose our identity, in which he addressed none of those. Secondly, we're dealing with the curses. We said the curses will be on us forever. He hasn't dealt with that yet. He's just saying, this don't apply to you. This don't apply to you. It said the curses will be on a specific people forever until Christ comes back. Now, he said, oh, your people are the 10th richest people. That's not because we have wealth. That's because the little bit of kibbles and bits we have, we spend it. We're the most consumers. He lied on that as well. Then he tried to say we were selling each other. The first people to come kidnap us from West Africa was, the, uh, of course, a Caucasian pedophile like most of them named Prince Henry from Portugal. They were the first ones to kidnap us from West Africa, Cape Verde. Now, I would like this time to get into a rapid fire exchange with him. And my first question is, was the Greek, was the Persian period of the Israelites a captivity? Yes or no? I don't want to go there with you. You said I didn't address your scriptures. I want to address each one, actually. So I'm okay. asking. After you address those, after you address you those. you saying that I'm not addressing stuff, but I asked you from the very beginning to address Revelation, and you did nothing with it but misinterpret the word Jew. So give me the scripture that says you can lose your identity as an Israelite. Number one, please. Okay. Hosea chapter 1, verse 10. Tell me where they was not okay. called. The Hosea, Hosea 1, 10. Hosea 1 and 10. Listen to my question. question. Hold listen on, you want to go back and forth? Let's go back and forth. Let's put it up. Let's well, put listen it up. To, listen to my question. Listen Hold to on. My question. Hold on before you even get to it. You said this passage. Hello, everybody. You said this passage shows that you as an Israelite or an Israelite can lose an identity. Correct? No, no, no. It was prophesied that the Israelites. Uh, lose their no, no, no. I'm asking a specific question. Where is the scripture you say I did not address that says where you can lose your identity? Please give it. I'm showing you the scripture where the holy prophets prophesied that the Israelites would lose their identity as a curse. Okay, show me that scripture, please. And put okay. up the verse in, here. In Deuteronomy 28, when it says Proverbs okay. by word. Oh, hold on. Then. If no, it's not, I say, give me I'm the listening. reference. And then I say your thing. I want to get there. What is the reference, please? Okay, let me get it. First one is Hosea. Well, let's stick with Hosea. That's why I'm at Hosea what? Hosea chapter 1, verse 10 and 11. Okay. You want to read it or you want me to read it? You can read it and exegete it, please. Okay. I'll go first and then you can go. Count down my three minutes from this point right here. Okay. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't have nothing to say. I want you to exegete the text. Okay. Now don't lie. You said you had nothing to say. So I say my thing. We go to the next text, right? Oh, no, I'm not going to exegete it. I'm going to scrutinize your exegesis. Okay, well, then, like I said, Nick, count us down three minutes from when I start, please. And we appreciate you, Nick. Thank you for this. Okay, Hosea, chapter 1, 10 and onward. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as uh, the sand of the sea. Man, wait, 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 hold, hold on. Hold on, hold on, man, you ain't doing this with me. Hold man. on, hold on, Joe. Hold Don't on. interrupt. Man, I got three minutes to exegete. I'm not going to do it with you interrupting me. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Three, three minutes each, three minutes. And then put it up for yeah. us, please, Nick. I don't see it on the other screen here. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to turn on slow mode for the chat because it's going by pretty fast. But uh, <laughs> here's your here's the, it's on screen now for you. I'll start your time right now. We're having fun, but all to the glory of God. Give us open ears and open eyes. Uh, Hosea 1, 10 through 11, my three minutes right now. OK, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, you are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. Now, my man said, this is where it was prophesied they would lose their identity. Never said that at all. God would say to them, 
You are not my people. They would not be wandering around going, whose people are we? I don't know who I am, who my daddy is. I have forgotten my own lineage. No, it says God said to them, I am now saying you're not my people. Just like he said to his temple, Ichabod, this is not where I be anymore. This is nothing. This has nothing to do with a people group losing their identity. This goes back to John chapter eight, the people knowing they're from Abraham, but Jesus saying, but your father's of the devil. You ain't of me. This is what we are given as our best. This is our first. For the whole entire kit and caboodle, this is where we go. My friends, wake up. Don't be bamboozled by this idea that you somehow need someone to wake you up to your identity. Maybe you did come from Israel. I believe you've been uh, uh, needing to hear something to encourage you to know your identity, but I can't prove you're from Israel. They can't prove you're from Israel. What I can prove to you is God knows who Israel is and God is doing a work with them in the land of Israel. You wanna take a DNA test? You wanna go back to the, to, the, to, the, to the land? Go ahead, that's up to you. I'm not even gonna get in your way. But the endeavor that you have to the black people, so-called of this nation or of the other nations, to tell them they are these people, Based on this, you get none. You go nowhere in this. All this simply says is God is going to tell them, you're not my people. He does that in a, a part of the curse. And now where he told them they're not his people, he now says, you are my people. What changed? Did they realize like, man, I'm a child of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? No, they already knew that. What changed was now they are returning to the Lord. They are saying, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. They are being awoken to what? The gospel, where there is neither Jew nor Greek nor Scythian, barbarian. That's what they're getting woke to. And they know their tribal history. Try again, my man. Show me where people lose their tribal history in the in the Israelite nation from the scripture. Okay, cool. Now, my question to Joe is, when did this happen? When was this fulfilled? The what is the smoke screen behind this, my man? I don't have any joy in going back and forth with questions. It's your three minute exegesis. No, please. no, no. I said we're if doing it. No, listen, listen, listen. If I can't scrutinize. Deacon, this is your time, listen, so it's ticking by if you want to waste your time. Scrutinize, if I can't scrutinize his exegesis, then it's pointless. All it is is his, his Southern Baptist rhetoric and, and plantation gospel. I need well, to scrutinize his exegesis. When yeah, scrutinize this, what he when talked was about. This, Nick, Nick. I need yeah. to ask him this. When was this yeah. fulfilled, Joe? When did this happen? Demonstrate it. I'm not playing the game. I'm sorry that you done. You ask these you ask these PhD scholars a question. That's why I like the debate with Alazar and Dr. Brown. I like that format. It's good. It's good for presentation. But me personally, I like to hack into your doctrine and question you over and over and over again because that's when we're going to see whose doctrine stands the test of the sword he can't answer you're wanting to play that game play it with somebody else a different day you've got your three okay, minutes so you're not so you're not so this isn't this isn't where we get to see whose doctrine holds up or not by by scrutinizing prove it wrong this People is, got ears we both get, we both get, here. prove wait, it wrong wait, wait. we both get three minutes to preach basically that's it huh uh, we'll have a time. Hey, well, I don't, we'll, I don't, uh, I don't, I'm relinquishing any further time until I get the rapid fire with this devil. Okay, we'll have a back and forth time. How about we'll, we'll, okay. we'll do that? We'll it do needs a back to and start. Forth. It needs Let's to start now. now. Now I'm a devil because I don't give him what he wants. The man can't even I've been hold asking it. you questions since I'm I came. A, I'm a coward. I've been asking you questions since I came on here. I'm I've been asking you so I can listen. I don't want to get caught up in it. When did this happen? What is this? Just say your point. Just I don't no, need no, you no. to do my. That's, that's how you know. That's how you know who's full of shit. That's how you know who's full of shit and who's okay, not. Get him out now, of here, man. Show get me where it happened. Here. Show me where it happened. Get him out of here, Nick. I, Nick, show I'm me where here. it happened, Joe. That's that's not for here. Yeah, Joe. we can't be swearing and stuff. Okay, on here, I won't so. swear anymore. Joe, show hey, me where Jose one morning, one, one morning. One, Bro, one, eight, 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 11 was revealed. This is show what me. you want to do. <laughs> it's so funny, man. Nick saying I can't swear anymore. Matter of fact, I wish I had the video. Nick, you the one who said black people spread AIDS and sell crack. Come on, man. Stop.
I'll start answering the questions and then we'll go back and forth. But you've got your three minutes now. Waste it if you want. And then I'll start the Q&A with you. That's what oh, okay. You're okay. Thank I'll you. Thank you for the super. Soon. Thank you for the super chat. Laugh or die. We'll get two questions and super okay. chats. At I, the relinquish, end. I relinquish my time. I'm ready for the Q&A, the rapid fire right now. Okay. What do you want to do? Rapid fire. As okay, cool. A half hour left. You want to do. Okay, five, all minutes, five minutes. What do you want to do, my friend? Okay, so you could probably crazy. stick at three and three or what? No, no, no. We're just three, we're three, just right? we're just rapid hey, fire. Hey, Nick and I'm sorry, Nick and I actually agreed to do something before you came on, and now you want to uh, change it. I'm well, sorry. we'll do rapid fire, but you guys are gonna have time, right? So there's no yeah. interrupting. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. My thing, I want him to since he says he's so deep and scholar scholarship is on his side. Okay, so I wanted him to show me doing it, Nick. Because he already uh, had three minutes. I get my yeah, we'll do three minutes and three minutes. We'll do yeah. three minutes and three minutes. Yeah, same I want, I'll, How many? Three, we'll do three and three. Just the same as we always did. Okay, I'll go. Yeah, through. I want him to show me. It's my turn. It's my turn. You took your time. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay go I'll start your time. I'll start your time now. Hosea, Deacon, does it say that they lost their identity? If they're not called the people of God, then they have to be called something else. No, that doesn't mean that. You're just making that up. You can call okay. me whatever you want. That doesn't mean I don't know who I am. Call me, uh, you could call me a, uh, a, 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 gy a gypsy. Doesn't mean I don't know who I am. Show me in this text where it says that they lost their identity. If they're not being called the Israelites, then they're being called something. They're not being that. called the Israelites by God because God is cursing them. God is saying okay. you're not my people. He doesn't go around exactly. calling them. Now, exactly. The you don't go around calling them whatever you want. He's just saying you're not my people. That's okay. what he's saying. Okay. So show me, show me, demonstrate to me. It's not your turn to ask questions. It's my turn to ask questions. And we're, we're already running scared to ask me a question. Come okay, on. Exactly, exactly. So just like keep you answering said, me. Like you keep said. answering me. Keep Wait. answering. No, you'll have, you have a place ask to me a question. Where it ask says me a question. they will forget their identity, yes or no. You asked me a question. Let me answer it. You, out of your own mouth, said it was a curse. If they're not being called the Israelites, which is the princes of the power, the children of God, they will be called something else, just like they did during the Hellenistic period, it where, was, where it was unlawful to call, to call them I'm sorry, by you know, the name I'm of sure. Jews. Can you show me where it says they don't know their identity? Can you show me that, please? Yes or no? It's it's clearly inferring that they won't be called Israelites anymore. Read it slowly. Show me where it says, even though they're not called Israelites by God, they forget their genealogy and heritage. If you're being called by another nationality and identity, then you would have to be reminded that in Hosea, you're not my people. Who walks around saying, "Oh, you're gypsies, you're whatever, you're you're Hittites"? Where does it say that? Um, the same way we were called Greeks in the New Testament. The same way we were called Grecians in the New Testament. The same way we were called Egyptians in the New Testament. The same way we were called by words. Matter of fact, Hosea chapter one. Hold on, before you do Hebrew hopscotch, show me in Hosea. You went to Hosea. Please show me. Hosea chapter one, verse ten and eleven is an exact reference to the bywords that we will be called in Deuteronomy 28. That actually proves what I'm saying when the curse is. You humble yourself. Everybody listen to him. He, he doesn't have a place where they are losing their identity. He simply has a place where they are now called by God, not his people. As I showed in John chapter 8. Show me in John chapter 8 where the Jews that Jesus spoke with. Wait, hold on. Said, let me, let me ask John chapter eight. It's my time to ask. You only got a few more seconds. Show me in John chapter eight where it says Jesus said to them they don't know their identity. Oh, uh, because they knew their identity at that point. They knew their identity, but at they that were point, children of at, Satan, at, right? At, at that point, they knew their oh, identity. So, they, now, so you can know your identity, but have a different spiritual identity, then, right? No, being a devil is not an identity or ethnicity. Oh, hold That's on, you can be under the the satanic influence no, of no, the but, and still know you're an Israelite. And be that, that's right? not an ethnicity. That's not Thank you, ethnicity. guys. That's three minutes, Deacon. You have you have three okay. minutes now to ask Joe questions. Okay, perfect. I I greatly appreciate that. Now, mm -hmm. so he said they wouldn't have to be reminded. Um, let me ask you a question. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, why did Paul have to remind those Corinthians that they were Israelites and that their forefathers walked in the cloud with Moses in the wilderness? I believe he's reminding them like I would remind my children. Don't you know you were Wyrostic? You expected to do better. No, no, no. They're Corinthians, right? Are they Greeks? I believe that in all the provinces, like Peter says, there was scattered Jews, the lost tribes. Yeah. That, exactly. So he had to remind him. Next question. Was the was the Persian error at a time of captivity? Yes or no? 
I believe they were in captivity before Persia with Babylon and then were given some freedom. The Medes and Persians might have been considered a captivity, but I don't believe okay. I consider that to be the captivity that uh, is, is originally prophesied Deuteronomy 28. I'll say that's more Babylon. Okay, okay. cool, cool. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Ezra okay. chapter 9, Ezra chapter 9, verse 9 to 10, and Nehemiah 9, verse 35 to 36. Primary sources from that from that time period says that it was a captivity. Now, in Isaiah 14, 1 to 2, when does when did this happen where it says both both kingdoms will go back to the land and take all those who had them in slavery in captivity. When did that come to pass? Re repeat the correction that you're giving me about what Ezra said and how it ties to this, because I'm not- Ezra, Ezra and Nehemiah said the Persian period was a captivity. Can you Just give me a reference, please? Give me the reference. FYI, Ezra chapter, one, Ezra chapter nine, verse nine to 10, and Nehemiah nine, 35 to 36. Why are you sitting here lying to the people? Now I'm asking- well, Hold on, pause this time. I just want to look at the scripture. Hey man, I don't mind being correct. See, why is it got to be okay, a pause that? my time. Pause my time. Pause my time. Read that scripture real quick. I did. I did. I stopped his time. Okay, read it. Read it. Read it. Yeah, I just want to make sure because you asked me and I, you know, I, I don't know everything. I okay, but here's the thing, Joe. Joe, Joe, Joe let me say this real quick. Yep. I'm in a car right now. Okay. My phone's on 10%. Yep. So I need you to do as best as you can to be precise and concise here. Okay. So go ahead. So it says that they were in bondage. You ask me about captivity. I'm thinking that they're being led somewhere else. So that, that to me was a different question. So if we restart the time, uh, Nick, I thought you meant like being dispersed. I didn't think during the oh, time- they No, no, were, no, no, no. That the Persians had them as, as captives, as slaves. Yes, that's what I'm asking. With clarification, I would agree. Yeah. That okay, perfect, captives. perfect. Now, okay. Isaiah, now let's read Isaiah chapter 14, verse one to two, right? So it says- it says that the Lord will choose it. He will bring, he will, uh, he will choose Israel. In what? Isaiah chapter 14, verse one and two. Okay, go ahead. I want you to tell me when this happened. He said they will have mercy on the Lord and we, we yet choose Israel and bring them into their own land. When did that happen? Well, I think that was the promise of Ezra and Nehemiah beginning to come to pass, but I don't think it was seen in a fulfillment. Uh, uh, oh. an entire fulfillment. Oh. I and dual fulfillment. So I believe the Ezra Nehemiah second temple is a a shadow of what comes in the end. That's what I personally oh, believe. Okay, so something can be fulfilled twice. That means it's not fulfilled. Okay, yes. now it says, hold on, listen, listen. It says that he will they will take them captives whose captives they were, and they will reign and rule over their oppressors, and the Lord will give you rest from your sorrows and your hard bondage. When did that happen? Well, I well, when we look back. To the uh the babylonian captivity when babylon babylon became conquered by the medes and persians during uh that time the israel started getting their land back they started actually getting in charge and then when the greeks came they actually had their own revolution the maccabean period and they actually started to conquer back some of those nations but once again i don't think that's all in in, in everything i think this also speaks to what happens at the end no 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 so, so Right. Well, it, that was three minutes, so now it's Joe's turn for three okay, minutes to ask you questions. Okay, thank you. So when, when you're, and I'll just keep following your point. On, honestly, I don't need to, to jump around here. When we go to this passage in Isaiah 14, uh, what do you think this proves to your identity? These are things in the eschaton, either in the future or things that have been fulfilled in the past. I'm trying to see what, what is your main point with this? Well, I mean, we already talked for a long period of time about identity. Now I'm just talking about eschatology on how both kingdoms, and I'm, I'm excluding also, I'm excluding those who say they are Israelites today or say they're the Jews today because it says when both kingdoms get back to the land, which both kingdoms didn't go back during the time of the Persians after Babylon, it says that when both kingdoms got back to the land, they would take all those slaves who had them in slavery and they okay. won't be in bondage anymore. Thank so you. Let's, let's move on happen? from that. Just, just for my sake, I don't think that's going to guide us down a road that's going to bring us anywhere. If you want to go back to that, that's fine. But I think it would be actually it definitely really exclude. It definitely exclude those people who are in the land. there. But I know people are going to argue about how many tribes came back. And it's saying here that all of Israel. I get it. Okay, but no, my the Bible tells you. The Bible tells you. The Bible tells you. The Bible tells you get us anywhere. I'm, just, I'm just moving on, my friend. Just moving on. Going to that passage in Deuteronomy chapter 28, where it says that you will go in ships to Israel. Why is it, I mean, in ships back to Egypt, why is it you take ships literal, but you don't take Egypt literal? 
because the Bible says tells you what Egypt is. When you look in the Hebrew, it would be like an Egyptian captivity. Now okay. I'm gonna tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. It says let me tell you why for Egypt and all the places that we understand Egypt to be. Why is it now you just want to take it figuratively as a place of bondage? Why not when it's actually used in other places like it's used in the Exodus of Egypt? Why don't okay, you? Okay, good, that? Joe. I'm glad you asked that, Joe. When it says the place wherever I spake of, you shall see it no more again. What does that mean, Glass Joe? Okay, first of all, don't call me names. I'm not here to mock you. I'm asking you a specific question. If it says Egypt in the King James, and that Hebrew word is used clearly of Egypt in other places, why not take it literal? It's a simple question. Be here's why we can't take it literal, because he said, the way wherever I spake unto you, you will see it no more again. Okay, you but I understand that first. You will see it again. If you think that's what it actually means, it contradicts the point. What I'm does it mean? I'm never going to go back there. But if okay. you have enough, I'll send you back there. Why don't you see that, my friend? Tell, okay, so, he's, so God will break his promise is what you're saying. God gives us conditions on promises. Absolutely. That's why he said at one point. Wait, I want you to tell everybody, God will break his promise. Don't ask me questions. I'm asking you the question. It says ships, you take it literal. It says Egypt, you don't take it literal. And I want to understand you. You say and, that is not literal because in the next part, he says, I promised you or I swore you never go there. Exactly. Because I don't believe God is a liar. That's why. Okay. Well, let me ask you this then. Why does he then say you will offer yourselves as slaves? Where are they doing that at if it's not at the place of Egypt? Where is that happening? Well, here in America, it says you have sold yourselves. Let me answer your question. It says you have no, no sold question. yourselves. Answer my question. Let me answer, answer my question. Yo. Where oh my are they goodness. selling themselves then if it's not in Egypt? Where? It says because we sinned against God, we sold ourselves into slavery. That's all it's saying. You can't show there, me there, one. You can't there. show me it has the word there, there at that place. Speaking of that place that I am sending you is where you're selling yourself. Why is it you can't connect it that it's Egypt? And because, because your there's time no to ask after this question. Okay, good. Time. Because there's no there's no valid source uh, that says that Deuteronomy 28 and 68 happened in 70 A.D. He's going to go to Josephus. Hold on, hold on. He's going to go to Josephus. Origin, origin. Uh, uh, an early church father said Josephus had plagiarism and, and corruption. Josephus said that Jesus Christ was a damn hey, ask the question. Ask the question. So, so now, let me just discredit your source. So now, Luke chapter twenty-one, verse twenty-four. It's that, discredit. It sounds like the Muslims. Go ahead. Luke, Luke chapter twenty-one, verse twenty-four says that the Gentiles would occupy. Give me, give me that. Luke chapter twenty-one, verse twenty-four says, "And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led captives into all nations." So you're telling me the Jew, them, them white Jews, them crackers got led into captivity into all nations? Don't what worry is, about it. Next ask, question. Again, ask it again, please. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Has the time of the Gentiles been fulfilled yet? We're in a transition period. No, no, no. Give me. See that. See this, see this. Has the time of the Gentiles been fulfilled? Yes or no? Uh, it's being fulfilled in our midst by them coming. <laughs> it, will be it will be fulfilled after the Antichrist has the treaty with the people of Israel and then he'll break it. That's my I'm gonna ask you again. I'm gonna ask you again. Has yeah. the time of the Gentiles been fulfilled? Yes or no? Has your captivity been fulfilled? Come on, there are things. Okay, that okay. Are now, Acts thirteen and one. Last question, Joe. Acts thirteen and one. Answer. Hold on, man. Nick. Nick. What? Nick. What? Stop him. Let me ask my last question. Acts thirteen what? and one. You gotta Jews let him answer. Called, the Jews were called you niggers. Let me answer. The Jews were called answer. niggers. The Jews were called niggers. Joe, show me when their crackers were called niggers, please. You got the floor. I don't. <laughs> First of all, I never put a skin tone on Israelites. Let me answer the back question, though. In eschatology, you're drawing hard lines, okay? Show me when the tribulation has started, finished, and end, right? We no, have no, 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 no. That was my last question. You didn't answer. Acts 13 and 1. I can answer it Acts... now. The time wait, of the... wait, wait. Let me rephrase my question. Acts 13 and 1 says the Jews... Oh, okay, you want to answer that, that makes you look good. Okay, so... I need, to, I, need to, I need you to hear my question so you can answer it adequately. Okay. Acts, Acts chapter 13, verse 1 says the Jews yes. were called niggers. When were yeah. these white Jews called niggers? Okay. First of all, it wouldn't be pronounced the way you're pronouncing it. It's Niger. Oh, give me that in the blue letter. You, if you, you, you blue letter, that way, I don't speak that, that Watch word. Watch this. Watch this. Listen, 
Listen, does the word mean dark or black? Absolutely. Do I believe that the Jewish people have been dark and black? Absolutely. You're not arguing the right. <laughs> My God. My God, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I had to hop in for a minute. To those of you who are watching, this was a debate from another platform that I'm entering on my platform right now. He just admitted that the Jews were of heavily, heavy, heavy, heavily melanated. They were of heavy melanin. But in, in but he's saying that those white, blue-eyed, blonde-haired people over there are the Jews now. You guys want it both ways but it doesn't this is why i said if that's true then there is no god the bible's not real because it it's oxymoronic it's not paradoxical it's oxymoronic you just can't do it bro come on man even dr brown said there wasn't one white jew until 1000 a.d and then the recessive gene became the dominant of all the population My point with me, so uh, I don't know if that's what you wanted to prove. Okay, so they were they were dark and black. They were ethnic. Not all, not all. They were a mixed multitude. Simon called Niger. Not all of them. It, Lucius of Cyrene, etc. Not all of them were called that. This man, just like the other one who carried Jesus' cross. I'm okay, not saying good. they all had African uh, so or an ethnicity. Or how does the ethnicity? How does the ethnicity have white, black, yellow, purple, and rainbow? How is the ethnicity? like that they all had the same forefather which is jacob how does it turn into white they were mixed multitude okay now let me answer the question my goodness because they were a mixed multitude when they left jews can uh, have people convert to their religion uh oh yes, see that? See that? Let, him, let him answer he's answering yeah, the question. not even answer see th this go is ahead, go ahead joe stop crying go ahead well, i'm not crying it's just you don't want the truth and you can't hear it so you want to talk over me let me finish please no i wanted to interject and i wanted to interject because when you said was so Mary ridiculous. and you have children with myself. hundreds of the nations that are coming to you and coming as foreigners as they had laws for the foreigners you're going to look like everybody you ain't going to just live in assyria and persia and not have people convert and they were sinning and having their intermarriages and if the wives converted they could stay as a part of the family as well show me show me my friend where they all are black because i can show you that the woman in song of solomon i'm not saying they're black is white and ruddy while she's black and white. Oh, oh my goodness oh my goodness it make, wait though? a Who second cares? wait a second bro on the point just say, wait a second did you just say solomon was white and what what I does ruddy mean uh, the, the woman was uh black and comely and the man was white and ruddy now 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 what does ruddy mean but he means red. So he was white and red. Get the hell out of here, dude. You sound like an idiot. Say that. Oh, wait, wait. Man, say that. Listen, bro, you don't even understand but what that's. I love when people go to Songs of Solomon, white and ready, and try to say he was white, but it says white and ready. He can't be both colors. That's like ridiculous. Stop it. White in the Hebrew means dazzling or radiant. Ruddy meaning beautiful, youthful, and handsome. Saying, dude. Now, well, I don't now you're not making statements. Let's let's ask. It's now. your okay, time okay, to okay. ask let questions, just, Joe. If you want, you have three okay. minutes. Let let's, me say this. Let me say this. No, no, no. I did not say it's all twelve tribes were black. It's my turn. No. It's my turn. Please respect the rules. Wait, Thank wait, you. hold on, hold on. How is it your turn? You can you, ask me a question. Because there's three minutes going back and forth. Four. Yeah. And I agree. No, with, no, no. He uh, asked me a question. Here, I know she's a sister, but she said nobody's black. That's right. Everybody's shades of brown. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is Nick, now I feel like yeah, yeah. It's just well, it's just because you had three minutes to ask him questions, and we're supposed to go back and forth. So, so let me. Oh, no, he asked me the last. He but, asked me you know, the last question. Uh, 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 I have, you know, let's. What, let, let's what let, was the last question asked? Okay. He he asked me. He asked me to show me show him where they were all black. Yeah. That 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 we can go to, but now let me say this. Let me preface oh that. Oh my god, preface. you got, I got, you. I got you. you can answer that question, but I'm gonna preface it with scripture. Put up the screen for me, please, my brother. Let's put it on the word. My beloved, Song of Solomon, uh, five verse ten. My beloved is white and ruddy. Yeah, that's in there. The chief is of ten thousand. So that is in the scriptures. Also, the scriptures talk about the mixed multitude. 
It is your job, my friend. I hand it to you. Show me where they were always one color. And by the way, okay. black people are wearing black and brown. They're all different colors. Okay, good, good. All <laughs> praises to the most high. First and foremost, we already he knows this, but the snake that he is, the uh, can you plug this in so I can charge this? We always teach that the, the Israelites are the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, not all black. Secondly, he goes to uh now I'm gonna ask you a question. Are you white? That, bro, you're not asking the question. I'm just going to answer it for a minute. No, I'm just going to do Q&A, bro. Oh it's not Q&A. Bro, bro, are you white? Oh, you stop crying. You stop crying. Okay, so he doesn't want to answer. This is what they do. It's I'm answering. I'm answering. The, wait, it's my turn. Well, then stop asking me questions. Answer the question. How is uh, the the man white and ruddy? How right, and I'm, and I'm answering your question. Y'all one color when y'all ain't even one color right oh now. Oh, my goodness, bro. Oh, this what's the crazy. answer? What's the answer, Deacon? Nick, Nick. Yeah, yeah. He asked me a question, and his time is up. So now I get to answer his question and go on my time. No, no. It's three minutes of cross-examination. That's what you wanted. Stick with it. Come on, you, uh, Nick. Hopefully you pass. Yeah, we were supposed to have three and three, right? So let's okay, just... Okay, uh, so let me answer. Let me... Whatever. Start let, me again, Nick, let me start Everybody, again. We'll start over, okay? okay. Three minutes, three minutes. Okay. If I can have my okay. last, these will be my last. He can have his last. And then can we close out the show with some maybe Q&A? Because we never sure. got... I'm sure. Okay, so so now he talks about white and ready in Songs of Solomon five and ten. First of all, nobody on the planet is white, and nobody on the planet is black. So there so this isn't talk. Hold on, listen. You asked me to answer your question, so this isn't talking about color, physical description. This is talking about his purity and oh, ready. Wow. Is Everybody hear that? Song of Solomon black doesn't mean color. Keep going. Okay. You gotta see how Rudy is. Now, they weren't going to let me share my screen during that conversation. but So I'm going to show it to you guys. I mean, we're the Israelites, so we already know this. But to you newcomers, when they go to Songs of Solomon, my beloved is white and ruddy. This word white is not dealing with a color. It's dazzling, glowing, clear, bright. Dealing with purity, radiance. Like, come on, dude. I don't even know why he would do that. Five and ten is not talking about color because he can't be white and red at the same time when nobody on the planet is white. No, is she black and color? Black what are you and color. Talking about? Listen to the deacon, right? It doesn't mean black either when it talks about her, right? Being darkened by the sun, right? Right. Yes, it, yeah, here, here's why, because that word in Hebrew means kadar. This oh, word in white this means word you want it, but not when we want it. Okay, let's you know, this that. word. This word is clearly <laughs> talking about his purity. Oh, okay. from his cheeks, this Joe, yeah, Joe. On his body. I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you an example. It doesn't matter when it goes against I'll you. give you an example. And Lamentations, mixed multitudes. Answer. Isn't, isn't okay. Songs of Solomon like a love poem? No, talking let, about like, wait, let me read this. Lamentations, Lamentations mixed for, multitudes. Can I read the Bible? Mixed multitudes, mixed yeah. multitudes. How are they all one color coming out of Egypt? I like can I read more. the Bible? Can I read the Bible? Go ahead. Lamentations four and seven. Her Nazarites were purer than snow. They were whiter than milk. They were more ruddy in body. And in the next verse, it says that they were blacker. Their business is blacker than the gold. Hebrew hopscotch. I'm asking you now for the mixed multitude. Tell okay. me. Okay, okay. Glass Joe. Glass Joe. I got you. I got you, Glass Joe. Why do you call him Glass Joe? Mixed multitude. Mixed multitude. Yeah, I got you, Glass well, Joe. Same color. Now. I've never seen mixed multitudes the same color. I'm asking, Deacon, okay. please. Go. Okay, so they went into Egypt, right? They went into Egypt. Those Egyptians were black, but Glass Joe is going to lie to you and say they still came out white even what? after they were in Egypt okay. for Anybody 400 is, years. Here, look up the Egyptian <laughs> Nick loves how I'm calling him Glass Joe. Dynasties. So look now, up the Hamites. Look up Ham. the Egyptians. Look up the uh, the Ethiopians. Let me know when it's my time. Let me know when it's my time. Well, it, it is. I asked you. I asked okay, you. good, 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 good. They all the mixed multitude was it all black? Yes or no? It all was black. the mixed multitude. Let me answer. The mixed multitude got destroyed in Numbers eleven, so that's a false argument anyway. Oh gosh, there was now, no school there was now no school I, just, I, I just said Numbers eleven. Now it's my turn. No, it's, your turn. it's still me. It's still me asking you questions. I'm saying there were no more sojourners. Then why did he give them a law for sojourners? 
that was for to come. What about Midianites? What about no, that, who came with them after they conquered them and there were some that converted? What about the woman from Jericho? Come on, man. What about all these women and tribes, that, uh, the women and the children that were left that could be for wives because God was being merciful to them? Okay. Answer is this three minutes. Is this three minutes up? Uh, it is now. Yeah. Okay, good, good. Ding, he ding, ding. About the, by the bell. His turn. He's I, talking I, about I, the I, mix. He, he, he talks about the mixed multitude. The mixed multitude was destroyed in Numbers, the 11th chapter. So you can't bring that up. You, anybody can go read that. Second of all, are the Egyptians Hamites? Yes or no? Mm. I would say for the most part, they could be Hamites. Yes. <laughs> Egypt, what does the word Egypt mean in Hebrew? Uh, I thought it meant misery or something. No, Mizraim, which goes back to the, to the man Ham. I thought you see. If you guys want to get a PhD, if you want to become a doctorate, join the Sakari Varsity specializing in Hebrew apologetics, and you will get your Hebrew apologetic degree. Because he could have came and gave me this money. He didn't even know that the Egyptian ancient Egyptians are Hamites. I'm trying to say they was in the Jews were in there mixing with Hamites and still came out white. The Hamites are the so called the progenitors of the dark races. All the scholars would attest to that. So, well, it also the says the Kushites are Nick, Negroes. Hold on, Nick. You're not on the hot seat unless, <laughs> unless you want to do it next. Now, he said the Ethiopians. So, in 70, 70 souls going into Egypt mixing with uh, uh, Hamite nations, but they still came out white. Glass Joe is a joke. He talked about the Ethiopians. What does the word Ethiopia mean? It, Ethio or Kushite mean? I don't know. Yeah, I have no. it here in front I'm of not me. talking about you, Nick. I have it here in front of me, Ethiopian. It means burnt face. It means yeah. burnt face. Yes. So what are you talking about? So what are okay. you talking about? Okay, are you just going to keep making points? Or do no, I no, no. Answer? No, because you're, you're, you're saying okay. that they're white. They have to now make points. They have wait, to wait, wait, wait. It's, they have to be questioned. It's my Let turn to ask the question. Let me answer. The Egyptians were a predominantly darker people no doubt but there we go so stop lying the middle east all the way up into what we would call eastern asia they conquered all throughout they expanded their dynasty that's why when when uh, uh oh man greece came okay to, now joe they, that's they fine whatever okay and that's fine that's fine let me finish that's all fine no i don't i don't i'm done with that question i don't care about why i'm i'm answering with the nick question. nick i'm what? done with that question you don't have to answer that question you don't okay. have to answer. Ask your next now, question. You got a minute and a half. Now, why does why do this why do this why do the Bible say that um that the people of Israel will be in a 430 year captivity, both kingdoms together? That would exclude those people who you're saying are the Israelites. Answer that last question for me, pursuant to Ezekiel 4, chapter 4, verse 6. And then we can we can open it up for QA. Okay, we're gonna let you go as well. Ezekiel 4, what? Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 4 to 6. Okay. What is the question? We can pause this time. Yeah. Yeah, Ezekiel okay. 4, 4 to 6 says that both kingdoms will serve a 430-year captivity. That only happened to who we say are the Israelites here in America. So I want you to show me when that happened to who you say are the Israelites. <laughs> Also, guys in the chat, now would be a time to get some questions out, and I'll start trying to read them off after. Yeah, I believe that is the time period that corresponds with Daniel and the coming of the Messiah. Wait, well, say so. For when did the four hundred and thirty year period start? That's a good question. I mean, we can say that the the periods are roughly what seventy times seven, and so there's a little bit of discussion on where those times start <laughs> and end. And it didn't say, you, it my didn't friend, say seventy you times seven. Except the okay. But You're I'm telling you what I body believe. bag, body hey, bag. Uh, okay, body bag. Wow, that that's what it that's what it is. Okay, okay it's my last question. My no, last wait, question is that his three minutes? Uh, no, well, I did pause his time there. Uh, one more, you have one more question. Go ahead. Okay, cool. All praises, all praises. So uh, he didn't answer my question that uh, that the Edomites will be ruling the world upon the arrival of Christ. So who who rules the world as an ethnicity? He's got to go on. Go First of all, never says anywhere in the scriptures the Edomites rule the world when Christ comes. That's well, not well, in the scriptures. You well, haven't well, shown nothing. I'll show you. Okay, I'll show you. Sort. I'll show you. You have uh, nothing of any sort. Okay. Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you. In okay. Second, Ezra, Second Ezra, 
says that the Edomites will be ruling upon when at the end of the world. So who okay. are they? Okay. Now, first of all, you have to understand, I don't accept that as canonical. Okay. Okay. That's a different discussion. Well, Joel, <laughs> here, well, let me change my last question. Let me change my, let me change my last okay. question because I won't want to go down that wormhole. Joel yeah. chapter three, verse one says that the Israelites will be in captivity upon the arrival of Christ. What do you say about that? Say it again. Joel chapter three, verse one, dealing yeah. with the Valley of Jehoshaphat, it says that the Israelites will be in captivity, that the Messiah would come. It's also pursuant to Jeremiah 23, five and six, yeah. that the Israelites will be in exile and in captivity upon the arrival of Christ in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. How yeah. the hell can that happen if they're that come to in the time of coming of Christ? I believe that when he said like in Micah, that uh, that the great, you know, the former temp, uh, later glory is going to be there. Uh, the former glory, the latter glory is going to be greater than the former glory. Christ is going to visit his temple. Hosea, Micah, Jeremiah, Joel, that's speaking of Christ coming, and they were in captivity. Thank you, my friend. We appreciate you. No, okay, so, no, 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 no. That's such All right. Hey, All right. Hey, you, hey, you, go, Joe, you know what? Hey, it's been good. Either way it goes, you guys are Edomites, and we'll see you in slavery, hey. but it was a good conversation. Deacon, you don't want to answer audience questions? Uh, no, I, I got. I, I gotta like, go. I gotta go. go. Nick, okay. Nick, I would like to end how we agreed with yeah, okay. us in peace. I don't want to end with him saying that we're going to be slaves. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> he didn't want to end with saying it's going to slaves. All praise to the Most High for the W. And to the to the Most High be the glory. Another PhD doctor destroyed by the Word of God and the holy vessels, the holy prophets. At this time, I'll open it up for questions, comments, and smoke in the chat right now. I'll open it up for questions, comments, and smoke in the chat right now. Questions, comments, and smoke in the chat right now. What you guys got? All praises to the Heavenly Father. All praises to the Heavenly Father. He butchered Joel chapter three. We got to ask Dr. Brown that. Uh, Dr. Brown said no more captivity, but Joel 3 is a future prophecy that says the Israelites will be in captivity. <clears throat> Upon the arrival of Christ or the Valley of Jehoshaphat. Somebody says, are the Israelites a cursed people? According to Deuteronomy 28, the Israelites would be a cursed people until the curses are lifted upon the arrival of Christ. <clears throat> I can't hear. Somebody post uh, Alizar's website. Post Alizar's website. <laughs> uh, who is going to separate the sheep from the goats? Uh, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ? Deke, how do I test the spirit? Um, well, that's a gift in a lot of cases. It's called the, the gift of the discerning spirits. Did they find new chapters of Matthew? Not that I'm familiar with. I highly doubt that. When we get our glorified bodies, when we enter the bond of the new covenant, Ezekiel chapter 20. <laughs> Why did I call him Glass Joe? Because that's a character off of Mike Tyson punch out. The sheep are rewarded after the seventh trumpet. The seventh trumpet is the deliverance. Uh, Banaya, Bana, hopefully I'm saying that right. The water for the super chat donation. Greatly appreciate you. Canal Zero. That would, that I, I believe that's talking about our people yeah, in the wilderness. Sleep paralysis is demonic. 
When does the new covenant start? Ezekiel 20, dealing with the bond, entering to the bond of the covenant when we are delivered in the wilderness. <laughs> Somebody said, when are we going to stop debating Neanderthals? I mean, black Christians won't debate us at this point, so I don't know. What spirit would you make a man believe he's a woman? How do you combat that? Uh, an evil spirit. Uh, somebody named True Hebrew. What's going on? Hey, Shalom, Shalom. How you doing, Deacon? What's going on, brother? Uh, hey, my name is True Hebrew. I was uh, listening to the debate. Of, uh, he wasn't even worth your time, to be honest. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. How you doing? Hey, turn your YouTube off in the back. Oh, okay. Hold on. I was uh, listening to the debate. Somebody said, why don't I bring out Jeremiah 17? I don't know if you stopped the debate to go get some popcorn, but I did. All right. Okay. I'm back. I'm back with you, Deacon. Okay, there we um, go. When he was talking about um, Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty eight, and uh -huh. we were going and and he was talking about uh, the the time sequence, you know, coming from Egypt, from Assyria to Babylon to Rome, all the way up to United States. That happened in sixteen nineteen. Well, when you go back to Moses during Exodus. It said in the Bible, I think roughly 420 years for each captivity. Am I not mistaken? No. It talked about a 430 year period in ancient Egypt. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Thank, for, thank you for correcting me. So would you say that we're past that time from 1619 till now? Yeah. Well, we don't believe that the 430 year captivity in, in excuse me in the Torah is talking about America. We believe that the 430 year American captivity is prophesied in Ezekiel chapter four, in which the Jewish community or any Christian apologist uh, can't answer that question. So I would advise you to read Ezekiel four. That's dealing with America. Oh, wow. That, that put that, that put me into a whole confusion because because I know I know when they were asking Christ, um, when will let he restore, you know, the um the kingdom back to Israel? And he said, no man know after time. But I was trying to get a roundabout, which what you said, the 430 years. Yeah, but that's not giving you the arrival of Christ. That's giving you a, a, a duration of captivity. OK, so this extends. So 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 you got our you got you got our our captivity. Right. So you, physical, it, it prophesies about our physical bondage. And OK, then, but we still would be under a subjugation. The prophecy says that because it still says the Lord is going to come while we're in captivity. Not correct. Phys not physically changed. But anytime we're exiled, not in our land or subjugated, it's likened unto a captivity, even if it's without the chains. Dang. Yeah. So all praises, brother. Any other questions? No, sir. No, sir. Uh, good debate. Good debate. Nice talking to you. All praises. I'll see you Tuesday, Lord willing. <laughs> Shalom. Uh, Tuesday, we have Vocab Malone openly correcting Sister Cherry. Somebody said, Deacon, y'all jump from topic to topic, debate a topic they can't run from. Uh, I don't know if you're a brother or a sister, but just because somebody has an answer or addresses something does not mean they sufficiently rebutted or answered. Like, um, you, you're not, when you do these discussions, debates, dialogues, if you're looking for these apologists to not have anything to say <laughs> to your questions or scriptures, that's unrealistic. Ezekiel chapter four, verse four to six, really the whole chapter.
Vincent Miles, go look up Sakari 12 Tribes presentation. Shakari 12 Tribes presentation. Go look up uh, Guerrilla Hebrew versus um, Brother Garfield. All praises, uh, Nine Ether Media Group. All praises. Dennis Rodman, we don't we don't believe that's talking about America. Break down Acts 15, 19 to 29. It's dealing with Israelites who are called Gentiles and them given a few commandments that they need to keep and repent from doing those things. Those weren't the only things they needed to do because homosexuality wasn't even in there. So that's what we call a starter pack. It says abstain from things sacrificed to idols, meat, and fornication. And then when you read verse 21, it says that they would learn the rest of the laws in the Sabbath, in the synagogue. So it was something that they needed to first and foremost work on doing. Deacon, you was going to bring up second Ezra. He didn't want to go there. Exactly. Uh, Jacqueline, if the two times to do. Yes. I'm not sure what your question is. Yeah, it was their platform. So they talked over me. They gave him extra time. They cut me off, you know, but it's okay. We wanted to get that doctor. We wanted to get that PhD scholar. So I had to I had to let them treat me like crap to get to get them. To get him. Why don't they come at British Israelism like this? That's a good question. And y'all go subscribe to the Sakari Audio Bible. Hear a black man read the Bible instead of that devil, that old devil you guys be listening to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't accept second answers, but he mentioned the Maccabees. When is the next debate? That's a good question. We want to set something up with young Pharaoh, even though he's super bugged out. He's got a lot of traction as far as uh, familiarity and popularity. You know, we're, we don't wanna really debate any more white doctorates unless they are they got a huge platform like the ones we've been debating. We wanna talk more with our people, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, those type of apologists with big platforms. Why didn't I bring up the Limba Jews or the Igbo? Um, well, Dr. Weibelstech admitted that Jews are black and melanated, so he was just double talking anyway. Uh, why body swift? Nobody said that. I don't know why you're saying that. Did you guys hear me just explain Acts 15? Why does MoFo keep on? Matter of fact, let's put a link in the chat for Christians only. This link in the chat is for Christians only. Uh, whoever this individual is right here, I just explained that. If you want to join and ask me the question, we can go through it line by line. Somebody said, why did I bring up Amos 9 and 7? Like I said, he already admitted that the Jews, the Israelites were of color, but he's double talking and saying somehow they transformed and turned white. Second of all, I don't believe Amos 9 and 7 is speaking about color at all.
How does Dan fit in the 12 tribes chart? That's a good question. So we know all the tribes are over here in the Americas, but Dan has been reduced, which is why you don't see them in Revelation 7. They've been reduced according to the prophecy of Amos 8. It says that they will be reduced. So there's not even 12,000 of them from each tribe. What is the name of the audio? It's the brother's page, Amatazalab. He's posting the uh, the link in the chat. Christ is king. Also, Jeremiah 30 and 10 says when God returns. Yeah, that's a good, yeah, exactly. Deuteronomy 30, Jeremiah 30, and Isaiah 60 is any Jew Christian apologist nightmare. All right, somebody hide mofo from the channel because I just answered that already. He must be watching this with his audio turned down. Uh, yeah, we wouldn't be debating young Pharaoh because he's smart. But like I said, a lot of people who's unsmart listen to him and follow him. So we want to try to reach them. Does Sakari subscribe to Babylon to Timbuk too? Um, I really don't use it, but you know, with any source, you're gonna find uh, some problems. With any source, you're gonna find some problems. Uh, I really don't use it, but there are there is a, a few good things in there. I'm on Amazon. What do you mean? I'm on Amazon. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, shout out Judah Nazareth. Torah Knights in the building. Does Esau have a ham equivalent? That is a beautiful question. That is a beautiful question. He said, does Esau have a ham equivalent? Yes. Like, um, well, I don't know what you mean. Like how Israel and Ham. Oh, oh no, no, no. I don't think so. I don't think so. I thought you meant something else. Uh, why is there a gate for Dan? Because the Danites will be in the kingdom and they will have a gate according to prophecy. Oh, somebody had a... Shalom. Who did the enemy? The enemy that sold the tares and the wheat, that is the Edomites, how they were raping our women. And now you have people who look like Israelites, but are not. Now, this is a good question right here. This is a good question. Where is he at? RL. Really good question. Um. He said, Deacon, please explain Isaiah 56, 6 to 8, where it talks about the stranger joining with the Israelites and his house being a house, our house being a house of prayer for all nations. And that is going to be true, but that's after slavery. So you there's something called the an order in prophecy, because I can show you 200 prophecies right now that have not come to pass to talk about all the Gentile nations going into slavery for what they did to us. And so after that, they're going to get go back to their land. We'll be able to teach them the law, statutes, and commandments. The whole world will be at peace, but the Israelites will still be at the top. And is But Ezekiel 47, that's not a non-Israelite. That's an Israelite stranger. Because some Israelites that have not heard, heard the word will still get a chance at salvation, according to the prophecy, upon the arrival of Christ, Isaiah 66. You might be, why? Why would God do that? Because he doesn't hate his people like you guys do. You guys think you're holier than now. And that if an Israelite is not doing it exactly like you, then he gets no shot at the kingdom. Okay, I'll take a few more questions. And the water for all y'all who supported the ministry and super chatted. And the water to y'all who may not 
have the resources to support financially, just liking and sharing the video and taking notes on the information is better than a donation. All praise to the most high. Is Jeremiah 50 a prophecy? Is Jeremiah 50 a prophecy of the exile of Moab? Uh I'm not sure. I'd have to I'd have to examine that. Uh Zeke Armstrong, I don't think so. You if you can send that to me, I'm not sure about that. The two witnesses. No, the two witnesses just represent the prophets, basically. Ephraim Watson says, how do I deal with this love to stranger verse? Well, we have two types of strangers in the Torah, just we just like we have two types of Gentiles in the New Testament. In the Torah, you can have a stranger as a slave forever. That's Leviticus 25. And you can rule over them with rigor and even oppress them. I think that's Deuteronomy 20 or 21. And then an Israelite stranger, you can't do that too. So contextually, uh, context matters when it comes to figuring out which stranger it's talking about all right uh the water brother alum for the super chat donation greatly appreciate you yes uh honey it's nick saw gets the sword after a thousand years of slavery meaning they will there will be no more Look at this question. Are you guys ready to be mad at me? Who's ready to be mad at me? Because you know, it's a long line and I don't really give a damn. I'm here to speak truth. This brother says, why? This will be my last question. Why does Paul loosen the law? Saying we can eat meat sacrifice to idols. Christ and Moses condemn that. So, Here's where you guys unsubscribe. <laughs> well, the brother's right. Here's what I'll do, because I don't want you guys getting too mad at me. Y'all been mad at me for years. So here's what I'll do. All I'll say is this, and you guys can say what you guys, you guys can feel how you want to feel. In 1 Corinthians 8 and 10, Paul basically says you can eat food sacrificed to idols. I mean, you guys can read it for yourself. I'm not going to say anything. All I'm going to do is show you what the apostle said, what Christ said, and what the law says. The apostles say in Acts 15 and 29 that you abstain from me offered the idols. Uh, you guys are going to have to deal with that yourselves. And then Christ says it here in Revelation 2. Revelation 2 and 14. Look what Christ says. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there and them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block. Before the children of Israel to eat things sacrificed to idols and to commit for, uh, fornication. So eating food sacrificed to idols is spiritual fornication. And it's in the Torah as well. So you got three witnesses, Christ himself, the apostles in Acts 15, and the Torah saying don't eat food sacrificed to idols. You guys pray on it and get back with me on that. What do you guys think? Matter of fact, let's get the chat involved. What do you guys think? What does my family, what does my brothers and sisters think? 
What do my brothers and sisters think? Because I know a lot of Israelites, they worship Paul. And now we go to his writings and we use his writings and we believe that brother is a man of God. But everything we see men of God error in the Bible. The only perfect one was Yahweh Shai. All right, well, that's something that y'all should study. Y'all should do a study on that. First Corinthians 8, first Corinthians 10, and then uh uh RL RL Amos chapter 8 is the at the end is the curse on uh the tribe of Dan. And then second is 13 says that all the tribes will be over here in our which is America. <laughs> I know, I know this brother's just playing. <laughs> I know you just playing brother. Uh, either way though, y'all, um, Let's end this, y'all, by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the most. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. Never mind, never mind. Let's end this, though. Oh, we got children's Bibles. For the children's Bibles, hit me up. They're back in stock. They're going. They're flying off the shelf, though. So hit up sakariseattle at gmail.com. sakariseattle at gmail.com. Let's end this, y'all, by giving all praises, honor, and glory. Oh, my goodness. To you, how will we do so by Shema Mashiach Kaushai? I'll see y'all Tuesday. For the exclusive footage only here at Deacon Destruction, Vocab Malone openly rebuking Sister Cherry for saying the apostles were celebrating and worshiping the goddess Ishtar, meaning Easter. Shalom.